What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamacy here, and today we're going to be doing a showcase of the Poison Necro build. This is a uh, character that I've loved playing, I've loved having. Um, it's one of my favorite characters in the game, I don't think it gets enough love overall. And I kind of want to show off the power of it, um, and just the versatility and everything about it right there. So I want to dive in and really just go through a, a single game routine of how this character really will play right here just saying hello so um the first thing that i want to note why is that not allowing a mute weird uh the first thing i want to note is this is a little bit of an expensive build and i understand that right for it to really be solid you're going to be rocking with the death's web you're going to have the enigma you're going to have right these sorts of things that are going to be a little bit more expensive but one thing that you can note about it um, is that you don't always need these things for it to be perfect. I mean, I guess for it to be perfect, you do. But for it to still be manageable and still be an okay build, you can go without having everything be super, super GG, though it does get that power and increase its strength with this sort of stuff. So like I said, let's kind of go ahead and go in. I will link to the guide down below the video, but basically this is what my character looks like for skills and this is currently I'm running magic find kind of right now so you can see I'm running about 250 percent magic find um, we're running skillers right here and then you know I'm just kind of collecting stuff as we go with whatever things um, but I do have like this on instead of some of the options like uh, this is for if I want more damage um, I've got my 320 with facets in it uh, if I, you know, want to run the Mars, I can. I've got that there. I've got SOJs. If I want to run those down in these slots instead, um, you know, just kind of a variety of that stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the character right here. So first thing is first, you can come out and very easily. I love doing Eldritch. It's a great little early MF. And for this character, I like running a Skelly army. Um, just a nice way to get like good tank ability from everything really helps keep the character safe and then you can kind of go and pick and choose where you want to go and like I said the versatility of this character is really one of my favorite things um, as you can just kind of go everywhere even even monsters that have poison immune and stuff you can still dive in on top of a lot of them and not really be super worried whatsoever uh, you can go over here I love like farming the world stone with this and it's really just an easy way to kill a lot of stuff. And when I say a lot of stuff, I don't mean you're just hunting down the unique bosses, right? For instance, some characters would come in here and they would only kill Foul Eater or something right there. What this character get, brings to the table and why I really love him is you are killing not just all of the uh, really strong, you know, boss mods, but you're killing all of the... Uh, tiny guys as well right you're killing literally like every single mob uh, when you play him and that's one of my favorite things about it is you just get so much additional loot so much additional damage all of that stuff now this is p1 it's multiplayer i'm just in a game by myself right now but this character is actually viable on p8 as well so again if you're looking for even more uh damage and even more um loot and you really just want to kill everything this character has that capability, which makes him really nice. So you can join into those games. So you're just going to get a lot more of all of that stuff. Uh, I doubt it can Uber. Uh, simply because generally casters, when they're trying to Uber, is rough. But, to be fair, since I am kind of a summoner, there might be some potential with it where you can, like, summon a bunch of, you know, Crushing Blow revives or something. I don't know. I'd be curious to like try it out now One of the other benefits here, of course is you have corpse explosion and you can see I have a massive number of plus skills I'm running plus 22 right now and when I run my other gear. I have plus 25 um, And that's just huge because that just means I get this massive 10 yard radius on my corpse explosions uh, And all sorts of pieces like that, which is really beneficial and so you have you know all sorts of additional survivability I have all of these summons to help me out here if I want. I additionally have, you know, a small amount from uh, Bone Shield right there. And all of that can just be super nice for the character. 
This is a pretty dangerous group, but I don't have to worry near as much about it because, well, you know, we've got all our uh, summons and everything. Makes it a little bit easier and less worrisome for the character overall. And like I say, you're really bouncing around and just kind of killing a lot of different things, which I think also makes it a lot more fun because uh, you can really just go in there. Okay, I want to go through the World Stone. Great. Oh, I want to go and do the Travancol. All right, sure, you can go and do the Travancol, right? We'll teleport over here. Pop on in. Pop a few Poison Novas down. And, uh, hey, look at that. All the Travancol is dead. Right? <laughs> it's, it's very, very fast, very, very strong, and something that um, I just absolutely love. And then it even brings into things like, what if you want to be key farming? What if you're like, hmm, I really want to go and you know, kill Countess and get runes, right? Go rune farm for Countess, go key farm for Countess, summoner, all of that. Is it still possible? Yeah, it is. Let me find my tower here real fast. But this is actually a great tower runner of a character. So of course, you know, knowing your directions can help you get down to the, t get down there very quickly. Additionally, you can also, um, just like if you're in single player, you can already have the maps, so you can you know already know that, and that makes it really nice. If you want to stop and kill stuff along the way, you can. But if not, pretty easy. Just run down in there, and then of course, it's just easy. It's just so easy to just get your runes and move on. Everything is just simple, and that's something I love about it. Now, one problem that you will note with this character is that it's going to have some issues with some bosses. So you're generally not going to be going for, you know, let's go and kill Mephisto, let's go and kill Indariel, all of this stuff, and be like crazy, uh, you know, amazing with all of that. It is possible. There is a little bit of viability for sure. Um, but I'll show you right here with Indariel that it still takes a little bit of time. Now you might be like, that's faster than most of my characters do it. And you know, this character is very geared up. Like I had said before, I have it pretty GG geared, but you can see right here that like, it's not an amazingly fast kill. Right, on like Andariel, Bale, Mephisto, that stuff. It's gonna just take a little bit of time. Um, so it's not end of the world. And you can do some of them, but I don't recommend this generally as a boss farmer. However, it is good enough that you can do it if you would like. Um, where he really likes to shine though is areas, like I said, like that World Stone Keep is really nice. Um, and then places like the Pit, right? These area level 85 areas, he can actually just crush and, and just do so much, so much damage so quickly. And once again, like I said, you get to kill all of the monsters instead of just like the bosses. And so you're not just focusing there. And what's nice is you can additionally run even more magic find. Like right now I'm running uh, about 250, which is, you know, right in that sweet spot. But if you want to run even more magic find, I mean, a few more charms would obviously help. Um, but you could just, you know, find a couple other sources to put in there and really get up 350, 400 MF without hurting your damage too badly. Because once again, this character can clear stuff on players eight pretty easily. Uh, and so, you know, P1 is just a breeze. And here, like I said, you can just see the speed at what this character is moving through the game right now. Um, you just kind of drop, and you don't even have to worry if it's bosses or not. You just drop in on it and absolutely murder all of it. Um, so I love this. I love this character even more than a lot of other ones, you know? I mean, there are some slightly faster ones for certain areas, like, the Javazon is going to technically be a little bit faster for like the cows and things like that. But really when you're taking all of the different areas and everything into into like regard for what you're, you know, trying to do, I think this is one of the most slept on and one of my favorite characters that I've run just kind of in its entirety. Um, definitely a top, I don't know, probably top three character for me for playing. Uh, I've loved it for many years and it's not one that... I play too often because a lot of times in single player, I don't know, I've generally been playing other things. Um, and it's not one that's like generally a first ladder character or anything like that, you know. That's kind of one of the issues with that right there. But if you just take it back, pop this. Let's just check these real fast. Eh, 13 to life. 
And uh, cows, this is actually the second fastest cow farmer. And remember, you can kill the cow king now. Just as a worry for everybody who's freaking out about the cow king dying. Hey, he threw up in second mage plate. Um, but it's super fun. It's just a nice, nice character. And one of the beauties, again, is you have this corpse explosion. So the second that you get, you know, one of them killed, which doesn't take too long, you're just popping the bodies and you're just moving through, right? You're just getting in the middle, lower res and everything. And then you're just popping bodies here. Everything blows up and you move on. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, and definitely something that I would recommend to you all. So I won't go through all of the cows here, but I really just wanted to give an example and a showcase a little bit of the speed of this. Um, and then as well, I will take off. I'll go ahead and take off my death web right now. Just to kind of show a little bit of the difference here. So you can see like with death web off, it's still going to be fine, right? Like this is no D web. Yes, I still have some other, you know, nice gear, but death web is a pretty crucial piece that a lot of people, you know, worry about and stuff. So let's pretend I don't have Enigma. You know, you can run around like this. You can get into, you know, a group of cows, whatever it is. It's locked. Cast it. And you can do just fine. It's still better, obviously, with something like that death web. Yes, I still have an inventory full of skillers. Yes, I still have those things. And you can still get plenty of plus skills. But, um, you know, pretend like I had a nice wand or something with plus necro skills and PNB skills and stuff, right? Still very nice overall. So really, I just, like I said, can't say it enough. Love this character. I wanted to kind of showcase it a little bit because I know you guys have seen a billion videos about the Hammered End or about the Blizzard Sorceress or whatever and that kind of showcase. Um, but I don't think a lot of people have seen this uh, near as much for, for this kind of character right here. So give it a try. Have some fun. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. And then, like I say, here's kind of my stats. I do need to respec out of some strength because I don't even run Spirit. I run Unlidless on my off with my CTA. Um, so I don't even, you know, I need less strength overall for it. Um, but, yeah, this is a very, very good time. And I highly recommend you give it a try. Don't sleep on this character. Definitely get some plus to skills gear if you can. Definitely get yourself, you know, just some trangs and whatever sort of stuff like that. Um, but, you know, whatever plus to skills you can get, even if it's a peasant crown or if it's a, you know, bone armor, whatever stuff. I think it's called bone, right? Yeah. Anything with plus skills will really help this character out. And then, you know, when you can later on, tack on the Enigma, get the Death Lab, all that stuff to really boost the speed. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, have some fun with this character as well. Mwah! Thanks for watching. Peace, YouTube.